For some of my past students, the appeal of Sophocles' play Oedipus the King has been a mystery. When I've tried to explain why it is indeed a masterpiece, I've tried to rephrase that. The appeal of Sophocles' play Oedipus the King is that it is a mystery. That is, you can think of Oedipus the King as an almost noir murder mystery in which the very clever yet tragically flawed detective, Oedipus, doesn't realize that he's also the murderer. And no, that isn't a spoiler, and it wouldn't have been one to the ancient Athenians either. Tragedians such as Sophocles would work with traditional stories that were well known to their audiences. The story of Oedipus, who famously solved the riddle of the Sphinx and infamously killed his father Laos and married his mother Jocasta, was one of these traditional stories. As such, most members of the audience would have known at the start of the play the terrible secret that Oedipus would discover at the end. So the mystery in Oedipus the King was not what Oedipus had done, but how he would find out what he had done, and how he would react to that discovery. Because Sophocles was a believer in the power of human reason, this type of mystery was deeply appealing to him. What type of evidence, and how much of it, will it take to prove to his very clever, yet tragically flawed detective, the terrible truth of what he has done? Hopefully, that type of mystery will be deeply appealing to you as well.